All right, welcome back. I am Mr. JDM, and today we're gonna get working on the 88 Civic Wagon. We've got everything we need from the junkyard. Um, as far as I can see, we might need some other things. But uh, in this video, we're going to clean out the whole engine bay. We're gonna remove everything. That way we can start getting to painting the engine bay. Last night, I did a little bit of cleaning on this. It definitely looks a lot better than what it did, but it's not perfect by any means. And it will get there. I think I'm gonna paint the, the transmission and the block as well. That way it looks good in the painted engine bay because I think it would look kind of ridiculous with a dirty ass engine and a nice painted engine bay. So anyway, we need to get this transmission out. So we got to remove the axles, which means we need to remove the wheels on both sides. So uh, let's get started. All right, we got 19 millimeters and I need to plug it in. Now the cicadas are super bad. All right, we need to get our um, the uh, lower ball joint remover tool. I think it's called like a pickle or something. I don't remember. Let's go find that. All right, we have that. And I believe it's a 17 mil at the bottom. Yeah, I would say it's a 17 mil. Let's move this bumper out of the way. Yeah, there's no cotter pin, which is kind of not good. This axle nut is destroyed. Check out this axle nut. It is pretty bad. It has definitely been reused quite a few times. And the axle nut is a 32 millimeter. Let's get our pickle fork and remove this lower ball joint. We got axle one. Um, looks like we need to remove the lower fork on the coilover. Need to get a wrench for the other side. All right, let's do the other side. Grab all my tools to transfer over. Lost one of the lug nuts. Where in the hell did it go? Now I need to adjust this side too. Adjust the, uh, the jack stand. All right, that adjusted. It just didn't feel safe. And again, no cotter pin. That's not safe at all. Get you in a better view. Not that you can really see much anyway. We got this loud ass helicopter going by. It's the joys of living next to the airport and a racetrack. It's a big military Chinook. Now we're gonna get the one on the uh, <sighs> my brain sucks. That's why I, there's so many cutscenes in my videos. We're gonna get the bolt that goes through the fork of the shock. It doesn't want to come out. All right, we got that one. Let's get the lower ball joint. Really? Come on. All right, we got that. Oh, yeah. Let's get the axle nut off. 
This one isn't as bad, but it's pretty destroyed. I mean, really? Come on. There we go. Yeah, we're not going to get this car done in a week. <laughs> There's no way. All right, let's get the transmission removed. Looks like we just got a couple bolts. There's one, the back one, and then this, this side one over here. All right, the back one came out pretty easy. We need to disconnect the clutch cable. And that is done. Now we got the starter wire. We need to get a tool for that. I believe it's a 12 mil. I can find one. There's a 12 mil. And right here. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Yes. Come on for there. All right, we got that one. We dropped the bolt though. And now we need to get the shift cables removed. All right, my camera died. We need to pull these off. They are the cables for the shift linkage. God damn it, get off of there. Let me go find another pair of pliers. Maybe these will work. Yes. We have a little washer. And that will come right off, maybe. I think we need to disconnect this bracket. There we go. Yeah, let's pull this bracket right here. I think I'm going to have to unscrew the... Um, cable there it's bigger than a 22 Let's see seven eighths nope one and a fourth too big I don't think I have anything that will fit that break out the crescent wrench not a fan of crescent wrenches all right we got that one off This cotter pin is super rusty. It just broke. Piece of it just broke. <sighs> we'll get a flathead. All right. We got that off. We need to finish unscrewing this. So we can get this cable off. All right, got the cable kind of off. At least we can pull the transmission. I don't think there's anything left. Let's move you out of there. Kind of in a weird spot. All right, so we're gonna get this mount right here. Pull that off. And of course it's a 14. All right, we got that. And this mount is pretty bad as well. All right, let's see if we can lower this down. No, we cannot. We have a whole nother fuel rail. Jesus Christ, this thing barely even turns. All right, let's get this T-bracket off. There's our T-bracket. 
not really a T bracket, but what would be a T bracket. And we gotta disconnect the uh, whatever you call it, the speedo cable. God oh, damn. These cicadas, man, freak me out. One was crawling on my leg. Let's find my WD 40. I don't know what I did with it. Jesus. I'm always losing my shit. Wish I had a garage where I could be more organized. Although I probably wouldn't be. Here we go. Looks like I'm getting a phone call. So we will return after the phone call. Okay, so we can try to pull this transmission now. Hopefully. probably just gonna fall to the ground oh wait a minute we still gotta get that speedo cable out of there I think it's stuck find a pair of vice grips that might help clamp it on there real tight God, the neighbor's BMW man it's like I want to sneak over there in the middle of the night and weld a new exhaust on it or weld A exhaust on it. Cause I'm pretty sure it's just open header. All right, let's see if that works. Does not. <clears throat> that thing is definitely stuck in there. I don't know how to get that out. I feel like this transmission is probably rusty as fuck inside. And there was a rock inside of it. Mm. I don't know, it might have came loose there. Looks like just the cable and not this part comes out. Looks like I'm just gonna have to soak it and we'll come back to that. We're gonna start pulling all this stuff off hoses and everything else all right we got the fuel thing off now we got to figure out how this thing comes off i think there's a bolt right here all right i'm going to remove the hood just because it'll make things a lot easier plus i want to remove the cowl because i want to remove this motor for the wipers and once I get that, then I can remove the wiper motor. And then we can get all this electrical stuff over here in the passenger side tower cleaned up. All right, we got this hood removed. Now where do I put it? I guess we stick it over here somewhere. Need a 12 mil. We can get the wipers off. These things just were not tight at all. Looks like I need a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver. Alright, we got a flathead over there already. We need a Phillips head. You know, there should be one over here. There is. Nope, that's a flathead. Not sure where my Phillips head went. Alright, this will work. Alright, the cowl has several little clips you gotta pop out. And just take a flathead and stick it in a little groove. And I probably need a smaller flathead. Two of them. Three. Looks like there's a freaking bird nest in there. Can you see? There we go. 
It's like a bird nest or a rat's nest or something. I mean, really? Come on, Patrick. What are you doing to me here? All right, let's start removing all the electrical here. And um, that way we can get this engine bay cleaned up. All right, we get this box pulled off. Am I recording? Yes, I am recording. Hopefully I remember that. If not, I have it on video. So I'm going to end this video right here. As you can hear, my audio kind of got messed up. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Maybe the batteries were going low. Because uh, I ordered a, um, a microphone that I can clip on here. That way you can hear me from wherever I'm at. I don't need to be in front of the camera. So I, I think it was something to do with uh, the batteries were going low. I'll probably have one more video released. But I probably won't record for a little bit just because the cicadas are so bad and it's just, it's like insanely loud. Now let's go outside. I don't know if you can hear it, but I mean, they're just, they're crazy loud and it's deafening. It, it hurts my ears to be outside for a long period of time. So anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here and thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you all in the next video.